Hi koalas! It's story time. Today we're going to read Charlie the Firefighter, a Twinkle original. Tulip class were all listening eagerly waiting for Mr. Clark to tell them the big news. Next week, said Mr. Clark, we are going on a very special trip to the fire station. We will meet someone called Charlie, who will tell us all about being a firefighter. Okay, so this is Tulip class, and this is Mr. Clark, the teacher. All week, the children were buzzing with excitement. I can't wait to meet Charlie, said Dylan. I bet he's so cool. I think he'll be really strong, said Medina. I'm going to tell him that I want to be a firefighter too, said Teo. Finally, Monday arrived and it was time to go to the fire station and meet Charlie. Tulip class lined up with their partners and made their way to the bus. Billy and Amari sat together, talking about what they thought might happen at the fire station. I hope Charlie lets me ride in the fire engine, said Billy. I really hope he shows us how to use his hose, said Amari. When they arrived, Mr. Clark led the children off the bus and into the fire station. Charlie stood up in front of them and waved. Look at his awesome uniform, said David. Charlie pulled off her helmet. This is Charlie. She's a woman. Hi, Tulip class, she said. It's so good to meet you. I'm Charlie and I'm a firefighter. Does anyone know what a firefighter does? You put out fires, said Grace. You help people in emergencies, said Aisha. You rescue kittens from trees, said Kai. Charlie smiled. Firefighters are part of the emergency services, and we help keep people safe. If there is a fire, you can call us, and we will come to rescue people and put the fire out. Sometimes we rescue animals, too. Hmm, what kind of animals do they rescue, you think? Is it hard? asked Annie. Charlie thought for a moment. Hmm. Being a firefighter can be hard, said Charlie. Firefighters are, fires are dangerous, so I have to be very brave. I also have to keep fit to make sure I am strong enough to do the job. But the thing that every firefighter needs most is a great team. It's the other firefighters that help me do my job, even when it's hard. Now, who wants to see the fire engine, asked Charlie. Look at that great teamwork. They headed out behind the fire station to find a big, bright, red fire engine. Wow, said Billy. It's amazing. If you'd like to get in then, I need to see some great teamwork. So they have to work together, right? Said, are you ready to take turns? Yeah. Tulip class lined up in pairs and waited patiently until everyone had been inside. Mr. Clark took lots of photographs of the children sat behind the steering wheel. This is Mr. Clark taking photos of the kids behind the steering wheel. I'm just like a firefighter, said Medina. Can I have a volunteer to use the hose? 
asked Charlie. A sea of hands shot up and Charlie chose Amari first. It's very powerful, said Charlie. Hold on tight and we'll do it together. Let's see if the water will reach that building. Amari is holding on to the hose. The hose came to life and a huge jet of water shot forwards, covering the wall. Good job, said Charlie. You would make a super firefighter. After everyone had used the hose, they headed back into the fire station to learn more about all of the equipment. Charlie's amazing, said Dylan. She's even cooler than I imagined. I hope I can be as good a firefighter as Charlie when I'm older, said Teo. She's incredible, said Medina. I'm going to be a brave, strong firefighter when I grow up too. I'll be in your team, said Annie. As the class got ready to leave, Aisha walked over to join Charlie. Charlie, should I be a firefighter when I grow up? She asked. You should be whatever you want to be, said Charlie. The best thing you can be is yourself. Ooh, and so all the kids went back to school thinking of all the things they could be. Who do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to be a firefighter? Do you want to be an astronaut? A veterinarian? A musician? A scientist? Who do you want to be? All right. Thank you for listening. That's the end of our story and I'll see you next time. Bye.